it is so hard. My name is Tracy Jackson. I'm a writer. And it is so hard, actually, right now for me because I'm really on the fence. I did send my older daughter to a single-sex school from second grade through her senior year. At the time, I felt, in the beginning, I liked it a lot. Like all schools, I think, especially independent schools, you eventually find something wrong. I think that there's pluses and minuses to both situations, which isn't that helpful to parents. I think with single sex, you oftentimes run the risk of too many girls together can become like little hornet's nests, and, and the cliques become clickier, and the nastiness becomes nastier, and the competition becomes more competitive. And depending on the type of kids and the type of parents and the type of a mix, you can end up in a really unpleasant, mean girls situation. So I kind of always thought that boys in the mix, and I'd always gone to school with boys, I feel like boys equals the playing field to a certain degree. Boys add a certain rough and tumble, they can't quite click up as much, they kind of have to be more real because boys just bring that sort of, you know, stinky socks thing to the whole table. But that being said, what I've started to witness with my younger daughter who's in co-ed, is now that she's in the fourth grade, I've witnessed four times this year, group activities, group events, a couple of field trips, an event yesterday, which was a goodbye to the teacher, where the girls, when faced with the boys, now that they're in the fourth grade and starting to be more, the boys are starting to catch up, if you will, the girls are becoming silent. And I find it terrifying, to the point that I'm thinking of maybe switching this one into a single sex school when she gets to be a scene not a senior, but a, in high school or junior high because I don't want my daughter silenced. And if the presence of really loud boys is going to silence her, which is something that I've always read, but I'd never really seen in action because the only child I raised was in a single sex school where it didn't happen, then I will make that choice and send her to a single sex school when the time comes. I'm told when they get older, when they get in high school and college becomes a big issue, that the girls do learn to speak up. But then I'm told by a lot of experts that that's not the case and that all these studies do have merit and that girls do become more silent and they do become less willing to be heard because the boys just talk over them and the boys are given preference. It's a very hard situation because then they go to college and what happens in college? Well, in college you are faced with boys again. So if they haven't had the opportunity and the exposure to boys, are they then sort of befuddled when boys are in the room and they can't speak up either? Then they get out in the workplace, where as being a working woman for my whole life, I'm aware that you're constantly fighting the problem of men trampling over you and standing on your head and having to be heard and speak, not only speak in front of men, but as a woman, you're forced to speak louder than men. You're, you have to work harder than men. You, so I, I wish I could be more helpful, but I find it's a dilemma all the way around because we need the practice because the battles we're going to fight in adulthood are battles with men as women. And I don't mean that in a really aggressive way. It's just if you want to make it in the workforce, you have to go up against men. Should we be teaching them from the time they're little that this is the way of the world and if you want to speak up, you better start speaking up in the fifth grade because when you're sitting at your job in 15 years, you're going to have to be doing it? Or do we give them this false sense of everything in the world is sort of equal and we're all just girls together and then throwing them into the soup and they at that point have to find out, oh, wow, I'm not prepared for these big smelly creatures who are going to take up all my space. I don't know.